Well, folks, it looks like we just might have a slight change in plans here. Let's go figure this out. I'm at a Ford dealer. What am I doing? I'm dangerous. No, this ain't bad. Perfect. This is goodbye, old friend. I'm gonna wait. That one. Well, I guess this is goodbye, old friend. I'll never forget you. You missed the spot. You missed the spot. You missed the spot. You missed the spot. Give me one minute, please. What are you slowing down for? They're just f squirrels. A pigment or a fig? Figment. Figment. You did say pigment. I did say pigment. <laughs> silver lining here you know? so I'll be able to hammer that out as best as I can before I was an idiot oh but yeah I am so spoiled automatic you know power windows you, you click it down it goes down you stop you click it up it goes up it does that for both windows passenger and driver it's amazing power folding mirrors power mirrors power locks Oh, I'm spoiled in this thing. Chew bubble gum, think, talk, and drive at the same time. You know, I'm actually surprised it's got all of this equipment because it is just an XL trim. And Jacob says these things are slow, but you know what? Compared to my Ranger, <laughs> it goes, it moves, it's fine. Besides, I didn't buy this truck for speed. I bought it for comfort and getting me to and from work and so I could have something nice. If I wanted to buy a car for speed, I would just go out and buy the GT350 Mustang that Jake really wants. And make him super jealous at that. Yes, it's a regular cab truck, which means I can only bring two people with me at a time. But you know what? It doesn't really matter to me because if I need to take the family somewhere, we'll just take my wife's car. Yes, I know. I hate that thing. I'd much rather be driving a truck. But that just gives me more incentive to get the excursion back up and running and use that instead. So for those of you who are thinking, oh, he's never going to get that excursion done, you're wrong. I'm going to get it done. You are so wrong. Oh, look. You know, the funny thing is, is when you buy a vehicle, you start to notice them everywhere. Like that one. His is in white. Nice truck. Like I could never, I was never able to find a regular cab short box, you know, in this in this particular trim for the longest time. Then I buy then I buy one and I see them everywhere now. And I've only had it for a day. Not even a day. I think I bought this less than 24 hours ago. I mean, why did I purchase this truck and why do I like it so much? Well, mainly because it doesn't have all of that nanny technology that these cars have nowadays. 
such as the lane departure warning, you know, all of the crap that I complained about in the video where I showed off my wife's escape. Doesn't have backup sensors, doesn't have a backup camera. I mean, she, just like the Ranger, there's my backup camera right there. That back window, not the Dodge Ram. I really like the truck and one of the big key selling points for me on it was the tinted windows. Already tinted and I mean, it totally, totally illegal the way it's done. But I've seen a lot of people out here with it and I don't think they really get in trouble for it. So, not worried about it. I'm gonna have to put some sandbags in the back or something to get some traction back there. Or, just lift kit and bigger tires. No, I'm not gonna lower this one. Hell, I didn't even lower the Ranger. I never got to it. So there we've got the little four inch screen display system. Um, it does not have connectivity to XM stereo, which is driving me nuts. Um, it also does not have an auxiliary input, but I did order a cable off of Amazon that's a 3.5 millimeter jack that goes to this USB and I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that that works for my Sirius XM unit that I've got um, that I yanked out of my Ranger. Um, and now I'm on the hunt for a box and I mean, there's it's gotta fit back here. Look at all this floor all space. You know, like crazy. The, the box that I had in my Ranger, I just threw it in the bed and ran wires back there. So having those 12 inch subs in here, even just one of them is gonna be plenty enough base for me. Um, and there is a lot of room back there that I can use so many robots in there, so many activities. And all of that. My only issue is, is I don't think that this stereo has any preamp outs, but I gotta do some sort of custom trickery to the stereo. There's a piece that I gotta order that's gonna be, you know, kind of expensive, but it, this stereo doesn't have RCA outputs. So I have to get this unit that, that kind of goes in between the stereo and the harness for the speakers and all that to give me an RCA output and a line out output to turn on the amplifier. Since you all know I can't leave anything alone and I've got to have custom stuff, I kind of went to O'Reilly's real quick and we got to get something custom up in here. So <laughs> this little thing real quick, we're just going to go ahead and you know what, we'll set, we'll set that. It's probably going to be in my way later, but I'll move it right there. All right, I did something custom. Woohoo! Oh, one more quick little snippet that's gonna be absolutely hilarious to a lot of you people. My wife wanted to know what I wanted for Christmas and I saw these magnetic GoPro mounts. And I was like, you know, hey babe, that'd be really cool, you know, cause then I could just set them on the truck and let them rip. Well, that was when I had the Ranger. And this, here's the mount. This truck's made of aluminum. I mean, it, it's clear, it's gonna work, you know? Once I get, once we get the Explorer up and going, magnetic mount works just fine. On this thing, not gonna work on the F-150 because it's aluminum. Ugh. But that's where these sticky mounts come into play. So, there we go on that. Anyway, I have a small project to tackle today and I'm gonna try and get this heater up and running and working because it's cold outside. So I'm gonna close the garage and get that done. Till next time. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, all that fun, fancy jazz. We'll catch you next time. I'm a genius. I got it to work. And it's not making a shit ton of noise, Dad. I got it to work. <laughs> Woo! It was a thermocoupler, just like I said. All right. I feel like that, I feel like that moment in Castaway with Tom Hanks. Look what I have created! I have made fire! Oh yeah. Nice and warm. Now we can, come up with an excuse to put those back on.